PFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning, as we come after that Christmas holiday. And I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and markets starting off to the positive side right now. We have futures right now positive, Dow futures positive by 27 points, trading 28,535. S&P positive by four points, trading at 32.30. NASDAQ futures positive by 14, trading at 87.44. We jump over to things in the morning in the VIX. We start things off. We almost made it to record territory this morning as we started things off. VIX this morning trading at a 12.69, very little volatility, as you may expect in a market that's almost at record territory. We'll jump over the indices. We'll start things off. We'll start it off with the Dow. And actually, before we do, Weekly jobless claims just coming in at 8.30, that putting a little bit of volatility in the market. Weekly jobless claims coming in at 222,000 for the week ended December 21st. That's a decrease of 13,000. The number economists had been looking for is 224,000. So the economy marches on. Jumping back to the charts, you'll see that volatility coming in between 8 and 8.30. Dow Jones trading, trading 28,531 right now. NASDAQ 100. A little bit of a spike up to almost 87.50, currently trading 87.42. S&P 500, as I mentioned, almost made it up to record territory. I believe record is 32.34, made it to 32.32 this morning. Crude oil market, $61.18, not a bad price in the price of crude. And how about gold catching quite a bid this morning? Gold made it above 1500 Friday for the first time in a couple months. You have the February gold contract trading at 151291 right now. And the euro US dollar volatility as well, right under 111, trading at 11099. In terms of what else you have in the market, Record online sales give U.S. holiday shopping season a boost as the holiday season has wrapped up. We may see some returns now, how that shapes into the retail sector. But overall, holiday sales, excluding all autos, excuse me, rose 3.4 percent. And that keeping in mind almost a week shorter because of the late Thanksgiving Day holiday. In terms of what else you have happening fundamentally around the market, weekly mortgage applications pull back as rates edge towards 4%. So weekly applications to refinance loans fell 5% from the previous week, but we're still 128% higher than the same week one year ago. Stay tuned, folks. Coming back at 10 o'clock with Tom, live programming all day at TFNN. We'll be right back, folks. Larry Pesamento coming up right now.